Hey guys, it's Tuesday. So, today we're going to talk about the destroyed powers. What are the destroyed powers, you might wonder? Well, the destroyed powers are exactly what the name says, honestly. It's powers that have been destroyed. Um, you might be wondering why I'm dedicating an entire video to this. Well, that's because powers that get destroyed don't always stay destroyed, and that's a, it's, it's a kind of a, a frustrating and confusing thing, honestly. Um, powers being destroyed or just basically lost happened quite a bit in Mighty Morphin Rangers. It happened in Zeo, it happened in Ninja Storm, it happened in Turbo, I mean, it kind of happens and those powers show up again and it's just like how why um that's not always the case though like with ninja storm when they had their crossover with dino thunder um that made sense how they got their powers back like you saw cam hunter and blake literally jump into the abyss of evil to get their ranger powers out like that made perfect sense um, if not, it was a, it was a stupid idea, obviously, because, I mean, dumping it, jumping into a abyss, abyss of evil is really dangerous, hence the name, but, you know, it made sense. That's how they got their powers back. You saw them give them the coins, like, it made sense. What doesn't make sense, and here is, I'm about to go into a rant, sorry. What doesn't make sense is how Adam, he was the, he was, he was the Black Money Morphin Ranger, second Black Mighty Morphin Ranger and the Green Zeo Ranger, and I'm pretty sure he was in Turbo too. I'm pretty sure he was the first Green Turbo Ranger. Yeah, I'm fairly certain Adam was the first Green Turbo Ranger, and it was Carlos, and then Carlos became the Black in Space Ranger. Okay, so Adam. Adam was the second Black Black Mighty Morphin Ranger. When the Mighty Morphin powers were destroyed, the first time, Adam then became the Black Ninja Ranger. Somehow they're still able to morph into their regular Mighty Morphin forms. How? I'll never. I'll just never know. Um, none of us will pro pro we'll never know how that works. But then, technically, he because those powers were destroyed, they used the Zeo powers, and so now his new power is the green Zeo crystal, right? So then how come in in space, when he's talking to Carlos, he has his black Mighty Morphin power coin with him? Like, I can understand if he has it with him, but he uses it, and he uses it to morph. And despite the fact that Alpha, keep, Alpha tells him, Alpha 6 tells him that it's dangerous and he could destroy himself because the powers are so weak, like... Weren't those powers already weak enough where you had to replace them with the Zeo crystal and that was literally the entire purpose of z creating Power Rangers Zeo was the fact that you needed a new power source because you couldn't use that one anymore because there was no power left? And technically wasn't those powers already destroyed when you went to Ninjor in the first place? Like, seriously. And then, even better. It's the coin's completely burnt out, okay, at the end of his little thing in, in space. Almost ten years later, we see him in Once a Ranger in Operation Overdrive, and he's using the coin, and there is no explanation as to how it happened, how he can magically fight again as the Black Mighty Morphin Ranger, even though those that power has technically been destroyed for over 15 years now. Explanation? I think not. There is never an explanation on Power Rangers, usually. It's just, go with it. And I'm pretty sure that's what the writers tell each other. Wait, there's a plot hole here. Stop. Go with it. I'm pretty sure that's what goes on in the writing room and when they're writing episodes of Power Rangers. I, can, I would put money on it. It's just, it's really weird. You know? Like, if you're going to destroy powers, have them stay destroyed. Like, don't just randomly bring them back because you screwed up the, the storyline and it doesn't match the Sentai now. Like, that's not our problem, it's yours. You're the writers. Fix it. You know, and like, stuff like that, 
it takes five seconds to fix. Like in Once a Ranger, all Adam had to say was like, oh yeah, my friend Billy fixed it with the technology on his alien planet Aquatar, because we all know that's where Billy is. He's on Aquatar. Just say, oh yeah, my friend Billy found a way to fix it. Find a way to fix it and give me, and allow me to use these powers, maybe even just for these two days. Like, seriously. And then even better, in the Legendary War, when you have every Power Ranger team there, yes, that was amazing. But then you also have to consider the fact that the Money Morphin powers were there, those powers were destroyed. The Zeo powers were there. The Zeo powers were also destroyed, like, what? No, that's not... I just don't know, like, what? The Turbo powers were also destroyed. And yet, there was a Tur- And yet, there was a Turbo Rangers in Legendary War. And somehow, in the crossover, Justin Morpher magically appeared out of a Zord vehicle. You see the issue I'm having? The issue I'm having is where they think we're not, they probably think we won't notice that they keep doing stuff like this, but the thing is, fans notice everything. At least I notice everything. And it's like, ugh. Guys, it's not that hard. Like, literally half of this stuff is so easy to fix. It takes like five seconds of dialogue to do it. You just have to have someone mention someone smart, and there you go. It's fixed. You know? Like, it's not even a difficult thing to do, and yet you're making it so difficult. Just explain it, and it will probably literally take you five seconds if you don't even want to get into it that much. Like, it's not difficult, okay? Anyone could do it. Plus, aren't you all supposed to be, like, adults or something? Like, if you see a plot hole, don't ignore it, fix it. You should see plot holes if you're adults and you're screenwriters and you and you write scripts for a popular TV show. Like you should know how to either work yourself out of a plot hole or how to recognize a plot hole. First of all, like that should be thing number one is that you can recognize your, a plot hole when you've got one. I don't know. So yeah, that's my rant on destroyed powers. Destroyed powers. They come back quite a bit. I don't think the Zeal powers have come back other than the Legendary War. But, and then, you know, it makes me question the whole thing where the Mega Force Rangers were using the powers of the Legendary Rangers, but some of the powers that they were using didn't, shouldn't maybe work because those powers were destroyed and those Rangers couldn't use those powers, and it's like, ugh, just... Either just stop destroying powers, or figure out a way to write with the powers destroyed, because obviously you can't do both, right? Obviously you can't do it right now, so pick one or the other, because I don't really think you can do both, and I don't think they could do it well. So, you know, so that's my rant for today. Another rant coming next week when I talk about crossovers, because crossovers are amazing, and yet somehow... They suck at the same time, which describes Power Rangers in a nutshell. So, I'll see you guys next week, and may the power protect you all.